know, I was sitting in my bed last night, you know, just doing the nightly scroll through TikTok, trying to plan out my day the next day. You know the drill. And I was like, you know what? I wanna do something different with my room. Those 2 a.m. thoughts. You're just like, I should do something. To I'm gonna rearrange my entire room. And then you start rearranging everything. Like this was me the other day. You get the vibes, right? I was like, you know what? I don't like my vanity anymore. I want a new one. Y'all know I've been complaining about the vanity that I have. And if you don't know, it's just way too small. There's no room for anything. I don't even have a desk to work at. So I was like, I want something that not only can be a vanity where I can get ready at, but also a desk where I can get work done. A two in one. So then I went online. I did some searching. I went on provision.com. And let me tell you, they have a whole section just for makeup vanities and they are so good. High quality, top notch chef's kiss and i found this one bubble leg on the side the storage so what did i do i ordered it and about a week later i received it and we are about to put this together but before we get building we need a coffee so of course we are going to the one and only dutch bros if you guys don't follow me on instagram which by the way you totally should i have been obsessing over dutch bros getting them almost every single day like it is becoming a serious problem at this point but you know what there are worse problems to have so let's go grab ourselves a coffee I'm good, how are you? Can I do the hazelnut truffle mocha? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You too. We got the goods. And it is flowing. And it is oh so yummy. Okay, so let's go home and get this new vanity built. Let's go. Yep, that's me, completely overwhelmed with the amount of boxes that I have to open. Slowly regretting this, but we got a Capri Sun, so it's fine. Now, not all of these boxes are my vanity. There's some of them that are from random packages that I've ordered. So let's move those out of the way and get started because I had a feeling that this is gonna take me a long time. I was fully anticipating on having to put all this together, but y'all, the biggest part was already put together and we are being innovative and just tipped it over and pulled the box off. It worked so well. Addie the Builder is in the house with her drill because we had to unscrew all of these wooden planks that was helping to protect all the boxes, which was really nice because y'all know some of those shipping people just throw all the packages around and we were dealing with some fragile things. This is where I was starting to question my independence because I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick this up. Like this thing was heavy. The plan was just to pick it up and put it on top of the nightstand thing, but that was just not gonna happen. And in this moment, I was like, you know what? If anything broke, I'm the only one to blame. But moving forward, I was like, screw this. I'm just gonna push it to the side and deal with it later. Lastly, we moved on to this box and again, how to use my drill, my handy dandy drill to get all the screws off. And thank goodness I used this little sliding method or I would be unscrewing so many unnecessary screws, but we opened it and inside was my beautiful mirror. For this next step, a male had to be involved. So my lovely stepdad helped me carry everything upstairs to my bedroom. Yo, like I said, it was so easy to put together. Everything was already built. All I had to do was screw in the leg and we were we're good to go. I mean, it is the way that I set aside three hours to put this together when I didn't even need 30 minutes. Hey, isn't that cool? You can make it as long or as short as you want. And you have a matchstick. Yeah. And it comes with dividers. Oh, that's even better. Now that's cool. After putting on the glass top, it was time to mount the mirror and I have never mounted anything before, but when I tell you this went so smoothly, I was so proud of myself. I got my leveler out, we measured everything, we had to use wall anchors, and y'all know I'm kind of a pro at this. I'm not gonna lie, so if y'all need anything mounted or hung, y'all just let me know. And finally, we're going to organize all the makeup, the best part. We're gonna take out the old drawers from my old vanity and move everything to my new one. This is kind of chaotic, but I was really excited. And you know what? It was nice to go through my makeup. There were some new things that I just 
discovered, I was like, oh, I forgot I had this. But I really love that these drawers had built-in dividers. It made it look extra chic, which I really loved. The other drawer was just open so you could do whatever you wanted with it. And you cannot continue on without cleaning the desktop because it got dirty with all that makeup on it. So I used some Windex, cleaned it off a little bit. We were good to go. She is sparkly clean. I am seriously so impressed with the quality of this. It is stunning, the gold accents, the amber glass, I just love it. I think it fits perfectly with the rest of my bedroom. In a moment for the lit up mirror, please. It has three different settings, which I really loved, and you can dim it and make it as bright as you would like. I mean, I am way too excited to start doing my makeup here literally every day. Of course, I gotta take you guys through a little tour of everything and show y'all everything that I have as my makeup collection. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because that can get a lot of boring, so we're just going to touch the bases. But in this left corner, I have most of my foundations. We've got L'Oreal, Maybelline, True Match. We've got NARS, CoverGirl, all of the things. And next to it, we have my powders, so like Laura Mercier, as well as Bare Minerals. And then to the right, we have all of my NYX jumbo sticks, which I absolutely love, y'all. I swear, I have so many different colors. And then next to that, we have scissors, tweezers, all the things like that. And then moving towards the top, we have my beauty blenders. And then we have like primers, lash glue, just random things that kind of fit the same shape as those containers. And moving on to the next divider, we have my favorite concealers from Lancome as well as Tarte. And then we have bronzers and blush. I've got Too Faced, Milani, Benefit, YSL. And those are just some of my top favorites. And then in the next divider, I have like my brow stuff. I have eyeshadow. This one doesn't really have a set theme. I just thought it fit better there. And then in the ones behind it, I have lipsticks, liquid blush. There's also sunscreen in there. There's really no organization, just others that would fit back there. That's everything for that drawer. And then moving on to the next one, we have a lot of my other makeup, like foundations, lipsticks, mascaras, eyeliners. But in the far left, everything is focused on like lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms. It's one of my favorite drawers I always gravitate towards. And then in the one next to it, I have all of my different eyeliners. Y'all, I didn't realize how many different colors of eyeliner I had until I was filling this club. I was like, hello. This one was a little random. I've got some YSL highlighter, moisturizer, concealer, just other things that didn't fit in the other drawer. And then back here, I have a lot of my foundations. I have my Lumi Glotion, CC Cream, and I also keep my lashes up there. And then in the divider next to it, I have all of my different kinds of mascara, which is kind of an abundance of them. It's so not necessary, but I like using different ones, you know? So I have little gems that I use for a little fun makeup. And then I have my Bare Minerals Moisturizer, and that is all for that drawer. Moving on to the little cabinet I have a lot of my eyeshadow palettes I plan to get little dividers to put on top of my desk but we will keep them here for now then next to that basket I have a lot of skincare and other miscellaneous makeup items like a lip scrub this is a tattoo sealing sort of product I've never actually used it before but we've got the Mac fix plus setting spray toner serums, you know, just a lot of skincare. I wanted to start doing my skincare here at my vanity just because I feel like it's a little bit more fun than just in my bathroom. The big thing of Aquaphor is so intimidating, it's crazy. <laughs> but we got Verst, all the different kinds of brands. And then down below we have just extras that I really didn't know what to do with. So I just kind of threw it in there. That is all that I have in my vanity. It is all very kind of random right now, but I do plan to organize a lot more later on in the future. But if you guys are interested in anything here, you guys can use the code MADDIE for 12% off the entire website on Provision. This is not sponsored by them, actually. I just absolutely love this vanity and they gave me a discount code for you guys. But I am so excited to use this for makeup as well as my desk space, and I hope you guys are too. And that is all that I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, be sure to check out Provision. You guys can use the code MADDIE for 12% off. If you guys are not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another video of mine, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!